Link TV, connecting you to the world. Link TV is viewer supported. Watch more at linktv.org. Today on Earth Focus, the first genetically modified animal, a salmon, may soon be approved for human consumption. What does this mean for you, the environment, and the future of food? Coming up on Earth Focus. It could be the first genetically modified animal product that you'd eat. It's called the Aqua Advantage Salmon. And if the Food and Drug Administration approves it, it may soon be on your plate. According to Aqua Bounty Technologies, the Massachusetts-based company behind the transgenic salmon, it can grow to market size twice as fast as regular salmon. Thanks to DNA from the Chinook salmon and from the ocean pout, which enable it to produce growth hormones year-round. It's not being engineered to be healthier. It's not being engineered to be safer, have higher level nutrients, nothing like that. All it does is allow the one company, Aquabounty, to sell more salmon faster. The plan is to produce eggs in Canada, grow them in controlled facilities in Panama, and then ship them to the U.S. for consumption. Industry experts say this will give consumers a healthy source of protein while reducing pressure on ocean salmon whose stocks are already dwindling. But environmentalists question the safety of the genetically modified fish. We think that the data is questionable. Some of the studies on human health and potential aller allergic reactions only included 12 fish. Studies like that wouldn't make it outside of a high school laboratory. The lack of conclusive evidence that the salmon is safe is not the only troubling thing about Aqua Advantage. One of the biggest issues is with escapees. Uh, what if the genetically modified salmon gets, you know, escapes from the open pen and goes out into the wild and, and breeds with the other fish, the wild population? Um, usually this doesn't work out so well for the wild population. We're concerned if they are in fact able to breed with wild salmon, that it'll lead to a weakening of wild salmon species, which is a problem. Atlantic salmon already listed as endangered. And we're also concerned if these fish get out, if they happen to be more aggressive, as some studies are showing, that they'll outcompete for food, they'll outcompete for other resources. Aqua Bounty says the fish would be grown only inland and only sterile females will be sold, limiting any ability to reproduce. In September 2010, the FDA held hearings on the transgenic salmon, but made no conclusive decision and continues to review the Aqua Bounty application. But opponents aren't satisfied and are calling for a full environmental impact statement. That would entail a much more thorough review of the potential environmental and human health impacts. Um, the review would be independent. It wouldn't be um, conducted by the company itself and it would probably take a much longer time. Instead of a period of weeks or months, it might take a couple of years. Environmentalists fear that if FDA approves this transgenic salmon, this will lead to other genetically modified animals produced for human consumption. The same company, Aquabounty, has genetically engineered tilapia and uh, trout. There's also genetically engineered cows. There's genetically engineered goats, genetically engineered chickens. Everyone's just waiting, and if the FDA approves this fish, it's going to open up a floodgate. But when it comes to salmon, what do the consumers think? I prefer to have all anything, meat, fish, to grow the natural way. I would not eat genetically modified fish at this time unless I, I knew more about the long-term uh, health effects and or benefits for that matter. I don't know this. I, I just only know a little bit about salmon, but Anything that's modified, I don't uh, think it's a good idea. Link TV is the only U.S. network dedicated to global and national news, uncompromising documentaries, and diverse cultural programs. Programs which connect you to the world. To learn more, visit linktv.org.